Welcome! I've seen another movie, and this one is called Sphere. They all go underneath water, and they go inside the spaceship and say, Ooh, let's look around, because we are, they're not our stuff. Let's look around before the people come home. <laughs> we like breaking and entering. Look, it's a spherical ball. It's shiny. Maybe we can steal it and pawn it off at the gold shop. Hey, black man. Yes, white man. <laughs> Whoa, look. All of our reflections are not on this spherical ball, but everything else is. I say that maybe it's an entity that likes to talk. Entity, is that true? <laughs> yes, this is true! Oh my god! Well, eventually, black man number one goes inside the sphere. Black man number one stays inside, leaves, eventually he's asleep, and he sleeps. Now everyone's on their own since the Navy has left. Black woman number one goes inside, goes, walks outside. Look at the jellyfish! They're fun! I can make jam out of them! This is great! Why are they sticking to my skin? Why are they starting to burn? Oh look, my flesh is starting to fall off. Oh my goodness, this is so... This is not fun. This is terrifying, in fact. Wow, they are starting to go into numbers and crawl around my body. Wow, they are inside. Unfortunately, black woman number one dies, leaving only black man number one, and white man number one, two, and three, and white woman number one and two. Black man number one wakes up and says, Wow, this is great. I deserve some sort of meal of tri because my nap was the greatest in human history. Hey, Mr. Black Man number one, why black woman number one died? Oh well, <laughs> let me eat these eggs, they're so good. <laughs> So apparently, aliens can talk through computers and squids and send manifest giant squids to come and destroy you. Hey computer, hello people. Hey, how are you? I'm good, my name is Jerry. Jerry, oh, how are you? How is your mother? She's a whore, I will send a squid your way. As he's taking a nap, another squid comes and starts destroying the entire facility. Help me! There's so many people dying and I wish to have, what is this? This electricity fire just killed white man number three. Oh my god! My legs are on fire! What am I supposed to- they all try to escape. They go into the yellow submarine and they go off and it goes off into the sky. They go up into a boat and then they talk to each other and say, Well, we have this power. We could use this to destroy destiny. Create all of my fantasies. I could use it to make dwarf children that could use them as some sort of army to create what is known as Dwarvishan. And I will use this dwarf-like army to conquer the world and destroy them one by one because I have had enough with the short people picking on me and I will rule them. I will rule them and use them as tools of weapons of mass destruction because in my dwarvish kingdom, the tall man is king. <laughs> and then black man number one says, no, we, miss, we must forget this or else I will create an army of poodles because poodles can outrun dwarvish men. So check and mate. Okay, fine, let's forget. So they forget the powers. And the moral of the story is, basically, your fantasies are doomed. Don't dream to be doctors or lawyers or even car, race car drivers, because they will only destroy you. Those doctors destroy themselves day by day by creating happiness and health for us. They take some of their soul and they use it on the people so that they can survive. Race car drivers race around the tracks and gain money, and eventually they suffocate in a bath of money. So in the end, don't dream and don't try to achieve your dreams just do what society wants which is to work at McDonald's during high school so that you can get discounts on hamburgers for your older brother don't dream just listen